So here we are on Watch Dogs on online hacking. Um, this guy said he's really strong at defence, so I didn't think I had much chance, but spotted him there in his car, profiled him, parked my car up, tried to make it not obvious it was just dumped, and then ran around the corner and hid. I stayed here for a few seconds, initiated the back door, and then uh, basically waited for him to come looking. I couldn't find a camera for observation, so I had to try and move around. Um, but then um, he does come running through any second. I really didn't think I would have much chance on this, but uh, there we go. There he is. And what I did, because he ran past there, uh, and then ran back, I thought, I'm sort of out in the open here. So once he was out of sight, I decided to run and jump in this truck, guessing that he's probably already had a look in to see if anyone was in. At this point, he jams my download, which basically pauses it for a period of time. Uh, and when I was in the truck, obviously, you press B and you can hide, you sort of, you turn the engine and lights off. And there he is. Now, I wondered what he was up to here, because he gets in the van and he moves it, but what he does is he backs it up, and then uses it to get on the roof, which uh, is a good tip. And I will certainly use that in the future. And then he obviously spends quite a bit of time up on that roof, looking for me, expecting me to be up there somewhere, because most of the time, um, especially if somebody knows what they're doing on these online hacking things, they will uh, either go up or down above or below the player that they've hacked in order to make it harder to find. If you've never played Watch Dogs before, um, every 25% of the hack that you do the actual search area gets smaller, it narrows in, so the person that's getting hacked has a better idea of where to look. What I did consider doing at this point was jumping out of the truck and running and getting into the white van that he'd moved, but I thought that was too much of a risk, especially seeing as he was using the cameras and things at this point. Um, he'd already used that camera. Obviously, he jumps back down. He's still looking. And for me, this is one of the most satisfying parts of Watch Dogs. Um, I didn't think much of it when I first saw it. But knowing that you're getting one over on another player, a real player, um, is really satisfying. And he runs around there, and we don't see him again. I actually get out of the truck any second and start walking away um, what that does is it it doesn't let them know where I was actually hiding, nice. all he'll see is a silhouette of me walking away ok, uh, what I did at this point after that successful hack which I was uh, quite pleased about is I climbed up onto the van and onto the roof and one other trick that you can do in Watch Dogs is to find out, I expected him to come back for revenge you can come back for revenge in this game um, and try and hack and you don't know that someone's in your session but there are ways to find out such as using the pause menu or like that using the focus and because it didn't slow down I knew someone was in my session so I immediately stopped and looked around tried focus again and it didn't slow down and then I saw that guy running there he had just come into my session to try and hack me got my sniper out so I'm getting to the car he's dead He'd only just come into my session, um, hadn't even tried to, he'd only just started to profile me at that point. So again, I was really pleased with that. And at that, thank you very much. Thank you for watching.